Is everyone ready for class to start now? <laughs> yes, teacher, don't you feel that way? I'm, uh, it's a terrific room and we're very appreciative of the community college for hosting us. But it is a, a fun setup and brings back memories of college uh, lectures. Um, my name is Patrick Starr and I am with the Pennsylvania Environmental Council where I'm executive vice president. And this is a picture of me on my bike at the end of a recent uh, fundraiser ride that we conducted this past summer, and I invite you to participate with us at, uh, by visiting our website, environmentride.org. Um, the Pennsylvania Environmental Council is an organization that has been active in Pennsylvania for 41 plus years, and we are very much of a project-oriented organization. We do environmental improvement projects as well as education and advocacy. So tonight you're here for a project of the Pennsylvania Environmental Council and we think of the City of Philadelphia and the Philadelphia Water Department and uh, the Mayor's Office of Transportation and Utilities as really our clients in this exercise and so here are the major project partners for you to see. Our mission, as I began to mention, is to actually protect and restore and improve the natural and built environments. And one of the reasons why I enjoy working for the Pennsylvania Environmental Council is that we are not just about the birds and the trees and the outdoors. We're really about built communities as well. And I think this project that we're here tonight about exemplifies that. We work on trail development and we really do mean uh, trails for all types of users all across the state and so this is just an image that's actually Pennsylvania's major greenway corridors with a few picked out that uh, we have significant involvement with. Uh, our, our colleagues out in our western Pennsylvania office are very involved with something called the Great Allegheny Passage. Some of you may have heard of it. It connects Pittsburgh all the way to Washington. Um, here in the southeast regional office. We're very involved with um, particularly the East Coast Greenway, but also the Schuylkill River Trail and the Delaware and Lehigh Trail. And the East Coast Greenway is an interesting multi-state initiative, and I don't know if how many of you are hearing the words East Coast Greenway for the first time tonight. No, there, most of you have heard of it. That's great. So um, not a lot of it's in Pennsylvania, and we're, but, but I will say that that which is in Pennsylvania is tough to build, and Spring Garden Street is a really good example of that. It's a critical piece of the trail, but it cuts through, of course, one of America's largest cities in a you know, very dense downtown. So our work to figure that out um, took us to the level of creating something that we call the Center City Greenway Feasibility Study, which you'll see was completed in the summer of 2009. And we looked at a variety of alternatives for how you would connect effectively from the Delaware River to the Schuylkill River. And that's because Schuylkill Banks is already designated as East Coast Greenway. And we already know that a significant amount of the trail from coming down from the north from Trenton is going to be aligned on the Delaware River. So we undertook this study to try to figure out how do we connect these two sides of the city. I'm proud to say that the Spruce Locust investigation actually led to the uh, traffic studies and counts and the recommendation that we create the buffered bike lanes on uh, Spruce and Pine. And here you see, <laughs> thank you. Uh, here you see on one side, uh, well, it's Mayor Nutter, of course, but there's our friend Sarah Clark Stewart with the Bicycle Coalition holding one end of the, ri of the uh, ribbon being cut. And, they are the advocate partners who we work with on many of our projects. Um, where there aren't partners on the ground to develop projects, PEC will do that, it, we will do that ourselves. And so the Spring Garden Street project is an example of that, but I wanted you to be aware of another one. Hopefully you're going to be hearing about this one in the newspapers or, and other media shortly because 58th Street Connector, which essentially connects from the Schuylkill River where Bartram's Garden is located to the Copps Creek Trail is completely designed, fully funded. Uh, the, con the contractor is selected and all that we await is for the actual groundbreaking to occur. So a $3 million investment 
is about to happen in southwest Philadelphia. And we like to think that we do innovative and cutting edge kind of stuff, Spruce Pine being an example. Well, 58th Street Greenway is yet another example. Here you see two images of the existing conditions and the future conditions. And here, because of the narrowness of the street, we've had to actually place this trail on the sidewalk. And so this will be the first facility of this nature in the city of Philadelphia. In fact, we had to assist in writing regulations to actually define the permit for this kind of activity where bicycles will be legal on this sidewalk and as will other types of, of uh, non-motorized vehicles. Um, so let me just tell you that how we got here tonight, and I mean, my job is to get out of the way and let the program get underway. Um, we have obtained partner support, and I've already identified those. We had to raise funds for the planning process, because this is not a city project. This is a private project of a private organization. So I want to thank the William Penn Foundation, uh, the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, and the Delaware Valley Regional Planning Commission for supporting this effort. We assembled a very extensive stakeholder team. You can see some of those entities at the bottom of the list there. We prepared a what's called a RFP, or a Request for Proposals, and we reviewed 10 of those and selected the Sam Schwartz engineering team that you'll be hearing from tonight. Um, our continuing work is to manage the consultant team and to conduct the extensive public outreach that you are all evidence that we've been hard at work making happen. And some of my staff are in the room, and Spencer, I know, will acknowledge them for their hard work. And thank you for being here. So with no further ado, I'm going to introduce Spencer Finch, who is our uh, Director of Sustainable Development. And he has really been a leader in our region for um, trail development of this nature. Um, one thing I just have to mention is that uh, Spencer prepared an application that we call TIGER, to the Federal Highway Administration that resulted in $23 million in trail work being funded in metropolitan Philadelphia, really in Philadelphia itself and in Camden. And so this has been a tr truly remarkable occurrence for us. Uh, it was a nationally competitive uh, program and uh, we prevailed and it was largely due to the vision of my colleague and friend Spencer Finch. Get ready to imagine, or reimagine, 